Hey guys, this video is a challenge to get as many PBs or personal bests as possible in one single day. The way I'm going to do this is by solving like cubes I don't normally solve, like 6x6, 7x7, uh, Mega Minx even, and maybe even doing big averages of those so I can get the average personal best. And also by just doing big averages, like a 3x3 average of 100, see if I could break that. And maybe even like a 5x5 average of 100, because I'm not sure if I have one of those. So as you can see on the records page of my cubing time profile, there are some spots where it says not indicated. For example, it says not indicated on 5x5 average of 100, which means I've never done one of those. So if I do that, I'll automatically have a personal best average of 100 on 5x5 and might even break the average of 12, average of 5, and so on along the way. So the first thing I'm going to do is a 7x7 average of 12. I could technically do an average of 50, but that would just take way too long. So I'm just going to keep it at average of 12. Okay, so I actually only did five solves. This challenge made me realize how much I dislike solving 7x7 and how I cannot do 12 7x7 solves in a row. Hopefully I'm gonna get an average of five, maybe mean of three, and also possibly a single personal best since I haven't done 7x7 in a super long time. Out of my five 7x7 solves, all of them were between 11 and 12 minutes. Well, all of them except, you'll see. I didn't break my personal best single of 10 minutes and 35.11 seconds, but I broke my PV mean of 3. During the last solve, I was sure I would break my PV single, but about 5 minutes in, I accidentally stopped the timer and got a DNF. Since the DNF was the worst time, it was excluded from the average, and I still got a personal best average of 5. I was getting tired of doing big cubes like 7x7, so my next average was, of course, 6x6. I did an average of 5 and got personal best in both mean of 3 and average of 5. I'm pretty sure my PB single before this was a 641, which I beat with a 616 as the fourth solve. And then the solve after that. Okay, so I just got a 554 uh, 6x6 personal best, my first uh, sub 6. And right after I got a, a 616 personal best, which means I broke these three records the mean of three, average of five, and single PB, which means I've broken five personal bests today, and let's hope we can get more. Much later into the day, I went for some 4x4 PBs. I was considering doing skew or one-handed, but with 4x4, I was most sure to get personal bests. My average of 50 PB was about 112, and I average under 110 now, so a PB was almost certain until my 4x4 popped. I stopped the timer and DNF'd the solve, knowing that if I got another DNF, I would finish with a DNF average. I continued the average now with better lighting and broke my PB average of 5 and 12. I was on my way to achieve a PB average of 50 until it popped again, and I couldn't find one of the pieces. I couldn't fix it and I was worried I would have a DNF average. Then I realized that DNFing this solve wouldn't make it a DNF average because of the way large averages are calculated, and just stopped the timer and replaced the cube. I continued for the last 13 solves of the average, and even though the current cube was my slower backup main, I still got a personal best average of 50. So that's how I broke 8 personal bests in one single day. I could have gone for a skew average or maybe go for a 4x4 average of 100 or maybe even one handed, but it was getting pretty late and I might even make a part 2 where on another day I try to get even more personal best. Make sure to like and subscribe for more cubing content like this and I'll see you in my next video. And by the way, I fixed this 4x4.